What's up, everybody? I'm Evil Rabbit. You guys have been asking for it, so it's back. The G920 is back on the sim rig, and what better place to rip the G920 is than a place that I used to drive all the time when I first was on the G920 and stuff like that for Jimmy Kaido. We're here in a set of Corsa on the PC, but we do have a different style pedal cam. We do have the G920 on here. It is basically factory G920. Now, the circuit board is on the back side, but all my stuff is still here, so I just don't have buttons or anything on here, but if you have a factory GI20, it's going to feel the same way. We do have the GI20 shifter. We will be using our Fanatec pedals and our Fanatec handbrake. So the only difference is I'm using these pedals because they're wired into the PC. So you can do this yourself if you wanted to, but the fact of the GI20, how it's going to feel, is going to be how it would feel if somebody else was running GI20, even with the pedals. My only thing is i got to be mindful of where my shifter is because, well... I hate it because it's so close right now because my setup is not set up to have the shifter down on the side. So we're going to rip for Jimmy Kaido. You guys have been asking for the GI20 to come back. So it's back. I haven't really tested it much. So this is going to be like uh, throwing myself back into the world of grassroots where I started my the roots of drifting with the G920 on the channel. Definitely going to be probably putting the 350 mil wheel on here so it's a little bit further out away from the shifter and continue doing G920 content. If you guys want to see it, make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Make sure you tap that subscribe button. Hit that bell notifications if you guys want to be part of Notification Gang. So we are in a Gothic S14. Or I say S14. It's an S13, sorry. We're going to stay on performance tires. We're going to drop these down a little bit. And we're just going to go full send here. This car is a very quiet car. So we're going to... Bring up a little audio for you. All right, G920 for Jimmy Kaido, set of Corsa. Let's go. First turn in. So I could definitely already tell a difference in response, <laughs> for sure, because the quickness that my Fanatec has is not really there, but. First throw down here. We seem to be doing okay. Third gear seems to be the money gear for this car. Brake, handbrake, here we go. The noises the D920 makes of so the gears and everything like that. I'm so used to the quietness of my Fanatec. So, oh, so if you guys are hearing that, well, that's just the G920. Mind you, my G920 is very old. I've been using it for many, many years. If you guys are long time subscribers to the channel, you guys know this G920 has been through a lot in the past few years so it's definitely worn in so if you guys are enjoying the new pedal cam style as well as the G920 here on the channel let me know oh oh that's not a wall okay so for first throw outs back here on the channel oh, the G920 not doing too bad I mean of course my pedals are different like I said and I have the handbrake but that's not really the biggest concern. Oh gosh. The biggest concern, uh, wrong shifter. <laughs> the biggest concern is the way the wheel counters back. It's not as fast as my Fanatec was. So on the smaller wheel, it's definitely gonna take a few to get used to, but we are still out here. We are still sliding. I will go take a look at the settings. I believe I have everything the same as I was running on the Fanatec. Everything turned off, but I think I turned force feedback to 120 to try and help get a little spin back or self-steer on the wheel a little bit better. So, I'm trying to also remember Jimmy Kaido, it's been a minute for sure. But we are out here on a G920. Kind of throwing it down. Oh, that was a clutch cable, a backwards entry. Throwing it down so all you guys that wanted to see the G920 back on channel, here it is. For all you guys using the G920 and are struggling, well, struggling a little bit too. But if you notice, it is definitely still very doable because a lot of people run the 920s and the 29s and stuff like that. So it's not a shabby wheel at all. I do love it and missed it. Ugh. But when I upgraded the Fanatec, I feel like a lot of people were saying that, you know, they can't relate anymore. Well, I feel like you guys can relate now. Back on the G920 here, 
for a special episode. That was definitely not a backwards entry. We backed into the wall for a special episode here. Like I said, if you guys want to keep seeing the G920 on the channel, let me know down in the comments below. Make sure you're a subscriber because I do appreciate all the support. Oh, we stalled it. Clutch kick. So, not doing that bad given the fact that I've been on the fan attack forever. So, I'm actually thoroughly impressed with this. Oh, oh boy. I feel like throwing maybe a 350 wheel on it with one of my 3D printed adapters will make make it a lot more responsive and uh, feel a lot better. Um, which I know a lot of people are running those adapters anyways with full size wheels. So, you know, we're going to throw an NRG wheel back up on here. Maybe throw back the main green nostalgia wheel that the channel was big known for with my modified G920. There we go. Now we're getting it. Now I'm getting the feels back with the G920. So, there we go. It just took me a second to know that instead of just kind of letting it go like I was used to, I kind of got to kind of got to muscle it a little bit. So it makes it a little bit more of a workout for me with a smaller rim as well. So we are going to definitely wrong shifter. <laughs> That's going to be take some getting used to. We're definitely going to be putting some NRG wheels back on this rim. Oh my. I'm liking how this car drives though. I will leave the link for for Jimmy Kaido down in the description if you guys do not have it already as well as the link to get the cars that I'm driving in for today. I knew that was a heavy brake zone. I'm starting I'm starting to oh remember oh gosh as I say that we go into the wall. I'm starting to remember wrong shifter again. I'm starting to remember the track. And I'm starting to remember the G920. So, I feel like if we do another run, maybe in a different car, we might be able to do this without totally biffing ourselves because I'm starting to get the flow back here. Yep, there we go. I got it. A little quick flick back. Oh, backwards entry, stay in it. Unintentional backwards entry. I think we're pretty much almost coming to the end. From what I remember. Oh gosh, I forgot that slowed down a lot. Yep, back in down into the city. Can we keep going or is it gonna stop us? This is just a downhill section, so we can be able to go, continue to go uphill. It will let us keep going uphill. It just started us on the downhill section, so we're going to rip a little bit more, then we're probably going to change up cars and show you my wheel settings that we're running here today. Ooh, this car. I may not have the power to do this. So let's go take a look at settings. Oh, oh, <laughs> almost knocking you guys over there. All right, so let's take a look at settings real quick for what we have. So for our set of Corsa, for our wheel settings, we have 120 gain and everything turned off and centering boost range at 10. So I know a lot of people say you could enable um, post-processing to help. So we're going to enable that and see if it makes that much of a difference. I haven't fine tuned that yet, so I will try and get some better fine tuned um, settings for you guys if I continue to use this. So I'm liking the way these cars are handling, but what kind of power? Ooh. What does this one have? 600. Oh my. So this car looks pretty sweet, and I think we're going to run the 14 the GUE14. I've never driven this car before. So hopefully it's not hopefully we're not going to die. I like that paint. 
we're gonna go actually I like the I like the one with the yellow wheels so we're gonna go with that we're gonna go back to Fujimi Kaido we're gonna run the downhill section again but we're gonna run old new downhill or old downhill hmm I think we're gonna continue on the new downhill just because we're trying to just get the flow here so like I said make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter all of which are found in the description box below see how loud this car is compared to the other one we may have to adjust our audio levels so we do not blow out your eardrums for using headphones oh race canceled that car does not work so we're gonna pull out another one of the gothic cars these cars are fun to drive this one's got some deep dish wheels so we'll pull out another one. We're gonna stay on the, uh, the downhill, the new downhill, so because we're trying to get the flow of it. So hopefully this car doesn't handle too much different. It's got about the same power, so it should be the same. We're gonna have to check the uh, sound of the car to make sure the audio level does not blow any headphone users' ears. We're gonna leave it on performance. We're gonna drop these down to 29, though. I like those wheels, though. All right, we are good, so let's go. We got a little bit of chatter in the wheel, and we got a mouse in the way. Get out of the way, mouse. All right, so this car definitely has more grip than the other one we were running. Probably second gear turn. Probably more second gear than the other one. Just a little long race. Oh, we're good. Oh, as I say that, we almost went first into that wall. I remember sitting here on Forza in an FC, I believe, just going running for Jimmy Cato, trying to beat my old scores in drifting, just back to back, you know, scraping the walls, breaking my taillights, and stuff like that. Having a good old time, and now we have it back here on a set of Corsa. Oh, a bit of a wheel chatter. This car has more grip, so we're getting a little bit more wheel chatter. So maybe the 120 on this car is not good, so we may have to adjust the feedback per car sometimes. Whoa. As you can see, that chatter almost makes me think my wheel's coming apart, but it's not. Oh, man. We go we kind of saved it this definitely makes me appreciate the smoothness and the response of the fan attack but going back to my roots on the g920 and where i started with drifting is definitely fun you guys asked for it so we're here we out here drifting for jimmy kaido in a g920 on a set of corsa on the pc Having a fairly fun time. Oh, like I said, I'll leave the link in the description for these cars as well as for Jimmy Kato if you don't have it. So you guys can get it yourself. Well, guys, why the spark show up on the other side of the car? That was different. Oh, backwards running that. Uh, okay. I will definitely uh, take that as a, a win. On the second, starting to remember the track. Huge break. There we go. Now we're good. Oh man. This little straight section where we don't really drift too much. The track looks very beautiful and a very amazing looking. There we go. Woo. Air 
here, pin time. Drag it in, knee break. There we go. No knee break needed there. There was weight transfer and a little bit of break. I have a hand on the hand break, but I didn't use it. Use it a little bit there because it slowed down a little bit too much. The clutch kicking. Oh no! Save it! Save it! We saved it! Whew! The hours I've spent on this track in Forza is insane to me. I can't remember. I would just come home from school and just hop on my wheel and just spend hours, you know, drifting for Jimmy Kaido, running, you know, trying to just better my score in the same car. A little jump drift action there. Just trying to keep beating my score and, you know, I had a little competition with like my brother and stuff like that, trying to see who could drift better. And uh, I was always better at tuning cars, but I was always better at driving them. So, like I said, make sure you guys follow me on all social media, all of which are found in the description box below. I think we are going to oh, break the car. I think we're pretty much going to end this episode off here with finishing this run here on Fujimi Kaido. In some Gaia cars on the G920. Oh, what was I trying to grab there? So as always, I like, thank you guys for watching and coming back. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. A little throwback, a little drift special here today. So as always, I like, thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.